Yo, what is going on everyone in the XRP community? Hope you guys are having yourselves a fantastic day today as usual uh, amid all the weak hand capitulation affecting social media nowadays. Uh, hope you guys are doing well. But again, uh, I'm coming back at you with another video kind of analyzing the current conditions of XRP, Bitcoin, uh, the US dollar pair, the Bitcoin pair, and some significant possibilities that could be in the near future. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So first thing I want to discuss is going over XRP to Bitcoin. Uh, Neil J. Duncan on Twitter brought this to our attention, how we are on the weekly chart at very, very, very critical support. As you can see, the first time we hit this support level, or when we like, you know, kind of form, started to form that support level, we ended up bouncing. We come back, we touch it again, we do the same thing. And again, both times we ended up hitting that support level, we ended up going parabolic both times. I mean, I, I would consider... Uh, freaking 200 satoshis to like 25,000 that's that's really parabolic and same thing over here to like 1300 uh back to 23,000 satoshis really 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 significant every time we're coming down and touching these trend lines we all we we historically have gone parabolic now as you can see What's going on now? We're doing the same exact thing. Now, previously, people were thinking we would end up bouncing at this level right here because we established a little bit of support on the 200 EMA. If I'm not exactly sure which one that is, but it seems like we treated that EMA as support. And then this is where we had the recent, uh, you know, 40... 47 cent rally right here and then even though this like didn't go as high, Bitcoin was worth more at the time. So at this point, we were at like 50 cents. But again, we got rejected. Bitcoin kept going up like crazy, and then that has kind of resulted in an altcoin capitulation. However, uh, again, it looks bad, and a lot of people are pissed off with the current price action, but I see this as an opportunity here, one, to accumulate, and two, to end up seeing a potential bounce off this support line. I think that is very well possible. History does not always repeat itself, but it tends to be that way, so let's see what really happens here. Again, by all means, we could freaking break down and, and go way lower. Who really knows what's going to happen in this market? This market is infantile and is crazy. Uh, but looking at history and considering what's going on right now and the fact that we are in extremely extreme oversold conditions, which could end up being like a potential double bottom maybe on the RSI, not quite because it's still a bit past the other, uh, the recent low, uh, but maybe we could end up establishing some sort of support on the RSI because we have been in extremely oversold conditions for a, a decent amount of time now, about a month. We've been oversold an XRP to Bitcoin. And by the way, this is the weekly chart. So just so you guys know, in, in technical analysis, the higher the time frame you're looking at, uh, the more reliable the chart really, because differences like, you know, if the one hour charts oversold, that really doesn't mean anything uh, if the higher time frame charts aren't oversold. But I mean, on the one of the highest time frame charts on the weekly, uh, we are incredibly oversold and we're coming back down to support. So I think we definitely 100% have a chance that we could be seeing a bounce off of this level. Again, considering I know that, you know, what Ripple and their progress is with XRP and the Ripple ecosystem, whatever they're doing, doesn't necessarily seem to have an effect on this market anymore. Uh, but looking at history in this, you know, technical formation, uh, we should, I would, you know, I'm really hoping for a bounce here. But again, the other downside is possible. We could break down further. Perhaps we, you know, break down really hard and really capitulate and then maybe get some sort of wick going on here. Uh, but again, I am really all hopes for we get a bounce on XRP to Bitcoin on the weekly chart. Again, massive, massive critical support. So next thing I want to kind of talk about is people are complaining that, yeah, you know, XRP is dumping. However, uh, the big leading dog Bitcoin, which does tend to lead this market, but however, I, you know, certainly hope that XRP will change that in the future and potentially lead the market if it is really, you know, heavily penetrating the, the current modern day financial industry. Uh, but one thing to consider with Bitcoin is that... I wouldn't exactly call this a huge dump on Bitcoin side because, you know, it's still in the five figure range. It's still over 10K. And I think Bitcoin, uh, in terms of the price action, it's doing a decent job. It's not really crashing as much as the altcoins are. So here's the thing with Bitcoin. On the daily chart, it seems like there is a little bit of a potential bull flag or bull pennant. I don't exactly remember what 100% you call it because I don't think that's a, a textbook symmetrical triangle. I think that's more of a, a bull flag or a pennant, whatever you call it. But point being, you know, there was a low and then there was a higher low and then you have your high and then your lower high, which, you know, tends to lead into some sort of 
you know, either way up or way down kind of move. So on the daily, Bitcoin doesn't look too bad. It still, I think, has potential to go further and further to the upside. So that's one possibility. I think Bitcoin could definitely keep going up in the future. Now, necessarily, Bitcoin going up has not been really favoring the altcoins. Uh, we've seen lately that it's been just a mainly Bitcoin run, uh, give or take a few altcoins. Um, but but really, um, yeah, you know, I would love to see Bitcoin go up, of course, but I also really wouldn't mind seeing it going down further. Uh, but on the daily chart, it looks like it definitely has a chance to, you know, recover and start making some new highs. However, if we hop over to the weekly, uh, you can see Bitcoin at this 11,500 resistance. Uh, it's very clear we've been having some extreme, extreme wicking going on here. I mean, you're talking opening at 10,800, uh, wicking to 13,900 and coming right back down and closing at just, just under 11,000. And then as you can see here, tried to capitulate, got bought back up. We made another attempt to break those high, uh, to break those, you know, uh, to break those, you know, what do you call it? Not session highs, but, um, like yearly hires or whatever, uh, basically this resistance right here has been very, very tough to get past for Bitcoin and we are getting, you know, wicks on practically every single candle that has to do with this resistance here. So I'm also thinking that potentially Bitcoin on the weekly chart being in extreme overbought conditions, as you can see here, uh, I would not mind seeing a sell off in Bitcoin as long as that money ends up flowing into the altcoins and we can start propping up the alts a bit because they are getting absolutely destroyed. I don't think that's necessarily deserved. So what do we have here? Bitcoin wicking seriously hard, uh, failing to break uh, current highs. Uh, it's in overbought conditions. And then what do we have on the flip side? XRP coming back down to support, getting ready to bounce, and we're in extremely oversold conditions. So you can see how there could potentially be a flip here. Perfect opportunity for a flip between the Bitcoin uh, runs and kind of the altcoin runs. So hopefully, you know, of course, we're wanting to see an altcoin season. Uh, I don't know exactly when that's going to happen or how that's going to take place, if it's going to be similar to 2017. But point being, XRP, extremely oversold, uh, Bitcoin, extremely overbought. So you could see where we could get dramatic, dramatic upsides for XRP and potentially dramatic downsides for Bitcoin because as long as it can hold 10K, I think it's good to keep going up. But I mean, if we really in the coming weeks break below 10K, I think we do have a decent chance at alt season, but hopefully the alts don't get wrecked alongside Bitcoin. Yeah. Okay. Next thing. So here's the current situation. XRP to the US dollar on Kraken. Uh, this is the US dollar pair, not the Bitcoin pair. This is the daily chart. And as you can see, we had the 64% impulse and they ended up making higher highs to freaking 51 cents. Guys, why couldn't we break? Oh my God. Anyways, though, there's just a bunch of opportunity in the future. So we had sort of an uptrending channel uh, occurring here, but then again, we got received with this, you know, deep, deep capitulation, almost like right back to where we were before the 64% impulse. And as you can see, also, we're somewhat treating 30 cents as a support level, considering we came down to it and almost immediately wicked off of this and are already back in the 32, 33 cent range. And to be real, over the next several days or so, I would expect that we probably get back into the higher 30, lower 40 range. I just, I, guys, in my experience, every time I end up making a video of like, why is XRP dropping or really any video where I went over, you know, XRP just dropping in general, uh, it it's always been that about a week after we end up being back to the back, uh, we would end up being back to the same exact levels, uh, as before the dump. So to be real guys, I'm, I don't really have any technical, you know, reason to say this, but I have a feeling XRP is really going to get back into higher thirties, lower forties, play around to that range in a little bit and just see what ends up happening there. Hopefully we can make a break, major breakthrough on the XRP to Bitcoin chart. And then a quick reminder, this is pre-2017. Yes, there were deep wicks and deep liquidations as well. I would almost compare our current situation right now, you know, not exactly in terms of the amount of days, uh, but it's a similar scenario where we ended up, you know, having that big, almost 100% impulse back here. And then we ended up, what, look what we did. We came right back down and wicked primarily right to where we started again. Then you give the market some time, it plays around in that range, and then look at what ended up happening. We ended up making another high at 30 cents. We sat down, we played at the 20 cent range, we found that as support, ended up, you know, making another attempt at a higher high, failed, was again, sold down, and then guys, this is what happened. Anything is possible, guys. I know there is a lot of FUD. There is a lot of negativity. I mean, God, there was people under many, many different pseudonyms saying very, very just cruel, utter just 
toxicity in the stream in the comments i mean honestly i i love reading your guys's comments but lately i have not really been reading them because a lot of them have been seriously negative and it's like yeah the current price action sucks but hey you know what this is crypto i imagine pre-2017 bull run there was a lot of people pissed off here 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 and here below 20 cents and i was actually in the xrp community in this range what did I do? I went on the forums, talked to people saying like, look, I'm considering selling. I don't really know about this anymore. I don't like being down 40%. They just said, listen, Alex, just give it some time. Be patient. Let the market do its thing. This is what's going to happen into the market. The upside is going to come one day. What ends up happening? I accumulated enough at these levels to where actually at the current low right now, I'm actually still in the green because of taking advantage of the fear uh, back in the day. So Guys, yeah, the price action, not the greatest, but again, if we take a look at the XRP to Bitcoin chart here, we have definite, definite potential considering the extremely oversold conditions and approaching support. It's like a textbook perfect level to bounce off of if we can get an increase in volume. And again, Bitcoin, massively overbought. Potentially, guys, we could see a big sell-off in Bitcoin going below 10,000 and we could very well see an altcoin run. This is very well possible. So again, just remember, yeah, today might suck, but a couple months in the future or a couple weeks in the future might not be that bad. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning the video today. One last thing I do want to go over. I'll give you guys a little bit of the back end behind the scenes on the Alex Cobb channel. So because of you guys being so generous and we got 30 members in our freaking first live stream ever. So again, a uh, big humongous thank you uh, to all you guys right here. If my computer, it would love to load that. Uh, oh, yeah. Again, thank, thank you to all the first-time members. You guys are seriously amazing. So just want to update you guys. Uh, I was limited to four emotes uh, right when I launched uh, this new feature on YouTube. Uh, but I just want to show you guys the new ones I added. I added Brad, XRP, Wojak Rekt, kind of in respects to Bizanachi, Tether, because that's a thing we commonly like to hate on in the stream. It's very clear for Bitcoin moves up. Uh, we got a little bit of gold because, I don't know, that felt kind of cool. And then we got Kappa down here. So, again, uh, if you guys do want to see any specific emotes that you guys are really Really wanting for the stream make sure do let me know in the comments below so guys thank you so much for tuning the stream today Re or stream thank you guys so much for tuning the video today really do appreciate it make sure you do smash the like subscribe check the links in the description if you would like to support the channel and hit those post notifications so you never miss a video stream and as always let me know what you guys think in the comments below i will be sure to read them on this video so guys thank you for tuning the video today i'll see you guys in the next one